children it's lesson time it's going to be an exciting time for you not just for this week but year long we're going to learn about the topic god loves you in grade one under this topic we are going to learn of how god created this beautiful world just because he loves us and how he has given us a beautiful family and how he wants to protect us provide for us and above all how he wants to forgive us so we're going to learn about all this beautiful exciting topics this year long so please do not miss any week but join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. this year to learn about this topic. God bless you. Hi kids, how are you all? I hope you all are doing good and I'm so glad to be back here and to teach about God's love to you. Okay, uh, I hope you all are memorizing the memory verses that we are learning every week and even remembering and following the stories that we are learning from the Bible. And today we have a very good story which talks about how Jesus helps us and the story for today is taken from the book of Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11 and the story is about how Jesus helped the fishermen now before we get into the story let's look into the memory verse our today's memory verse is taken from Matthew chapter 6 verse 31 I repeat Matthew chapter 6 verse 31 it says so do not worry saying what shall we eat what shall we drink and what shall we wear okay I repeat so do not worry saying what shall we eat what shall we drink and what shall we wear okay so this is the memory verse that is given for us for this week and let's just uh, memorize it once again before we end the story or before we end the day so uh, the story talks about how Jesus helps us but we need to obey him and we can know that God can do anything for you and for me so the story says that you know uh, Jesus was performing many miracles and he was walking you know in uh, at the uh, shore of Galilee Galilee is the name of a river and Jesus saw something different happening uh, you know among the crowd or in that area so what Jesus did you know as he was walking on the shore of Galilee he saw two empty boats how many two empty boats and uh, and he saw that you know the fishermen uh, you know were washing their nets after you know usually after fishing fishermen you know clean and wash their nets so that they will you they can use it for the next time now Jesus stepped into one of the boats how many boats were there there were two out of two Jesus stepped in one boat and then he said to one of his disciples that is the boat belonged to Simon Peter who is the owner of the boat then Jesus said come on Simon just push this boat into the water and let down your nets and catch some fish hmm. now Peter was like Jesus me and my friends we went to catch fish all through the night last night we went but you know we couldn't catch even one single fish poor Peter and his friends the whole night imagine we would sleep nicely one full night but Peter and his friends had to go for fishing and when they tried so much they never caught even one single fish but uh, you know still he wanted to obey what Jesus told him though he was little you know uh, night we tried but okay then what they did as Jesus instructed they all went along with Jesus took their nets put it in the boat and you know they they let down their nets into the river now to their surprise you know what happened they could catch a large number of fish my god so many fish you know fish right this is a fish okay they were able to catch n number of fish lot of fishes and you know when they're trying to pull those nets with the fish into their boat the f there was such a huge number of fish that the boat began to sink so immediately they called out their friends hey come on come over 
we have caught a lot of fish we want you to come and help us so immediately their friends came and in you know instead of taking in one boat they were trying to pull the net in two boats and the whole you know net you know they were as they were trying to pull the boat was full of fish peter and his friends they tried to catch fish the whole night but they couldn't but when jesus came when jesus saw their need and when jesus asked them to do they obeyed jesus and they did as jesus said then they were blessed with huge number of fish and to the extent wherein their boats were about to sink god knows your need god knows our needs he knows what we need and he knows when we need it as well don't you think god knows that peter and his friends were trying to catch fish the whole night he did but he knows when he has to come to help you so this is what it says peter and the father fishermen who were with him were awestruck that means they were like oh, surprised at what number of fish they had caught that day now jesus saw the need of fishermen even before they asked him that's the scripture tell us that peter and his friend asked jesus to help him to give him fish no 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 it doesn't say so but it only says that jesus saw their need and he helped them so the same god also sees our needs today and is going to provide us but remember when he says something obey and do it God can do miracles in this impossible world. Do not forget children, God knows everything about you and he is ready to do it only when you heed to his instructions or listen and obey to him. Okay? So this is the story which tells us that God helped the fishermen and God is going to even help you and me, but we should obey and listen to him. Okay? So before we pray, let us look into the memory verse once again. I hope you remember our memory verse. It says it is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 31. I repeat, Matthew chapter 6 verse 31. It says, so do not worry saying what shall we eat what shall we drink and what shall we wear i repeat so do not worry saying what shall we eat what shall we drink and what shall we wear okay so remember that you know don't worry about anything but god is there to take care of all your needs okay so let's join our hands close our eyes and look to god in prayer god We come to you this morning and we ask you O Lord that you would be with us. God, we know that you know us and you see us and all our needs. Lord, help us to obey you so that we will do as you ask us to do, so that you will fulfill whatever you desire in our life. In your name, we pray and ask these things. Amen. So children I hope you will remember this beautiful lesson that the Bible teaches us to depend on God to obey him okay so I hope you will all send your videos learning the memory verses and how God has been helping you in your life okay so until we meet next week god bless you all take care and bye bye